The fifth and final round of this light welterweight K1 rules battle. Danny Steele in the yellow trunks, Melkor Maynor put on a terrific show for the Mirage crowd tonight. This has been an excellent fight. Steele is gonna try to knock him out in this round. Danny doesn't like winning by decision. I, I don't think he wants to give it to the judges either. It, it may be closer than we think. You're, you're right, Lon. I'm, I'm talking like Steele's got this fight won, but that's a that may not be an accurate assessment at all. Mel Melkor Menor has fought a very good fight. Danny's been better later, but Melkor was good early. But either way, Steele's going to try to knock him out. Well, you're right about that. <laughs> bottom line there, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Activity from Menor. Steele's gonna wait for the last minute of the round and then he's gonna pour it on. I don't think he can take Menor out. Menor's too good of a fighter. He also knows Steele's style. The third round could be the turning point right now. That was the best round of the fight for Danny Steele. May have gotten an extra point for Menor in that one. Steele still looking to land the big right hand or the big right roundhouse kick. Oh, that's oh. big. That was big. Menor's right there. He was right there, did not miss a beat. No. He didn't. And you notice how Menor ducked his head when he saw it coming, so he took it up high on the top of the head. Much less damage that way. Melkor Menor made limp tomorrow, but he's standing tall tonight in the final round against Danny Steele. Oh, again, the looping right by Steele. Menor shakes it off. Steele's corner telling him he's only got 30 seconds. Coming to the end of the round. What a fight. Great fight. No knockout, but a great fight. Great action in round number five. This is right near the end of the round. You see Steele giving it everything he's got with the right hand. He comes back with the left. All I want is a knockout, but I just can't quite get it. But I'll finish strong anyway. Spinning back fist, a last-ditch effort by Danny Steele to win with a knockout. Just couldn't quite make it. Now he's hoping he's won a decision. It's in the judges' hands. Just a great back-and-forth fight the whole way. Tremendous battle. Got to hand it to Melkor Menor, too. Danny Steele, a very intimidating fighter. Super fight was a close one, and we have a split decision. Jeff Mullen scores the contest 48 and a half to 47. He scores it for Danny Steele. 
Glenn Traubert scores the contest 49 to 47 and a half. He has it for Melchor Minor. And Dave Moretti scores the contest 48 and a half to 48 to the winner by split decision, Melkor, Mr. Colmeno. Not a popular decision with the crowd here, but by a half point, Melkor Maynor is the winner and will meet George Titsui after his victory over Danny Steele tonight in Las Vegas. Well, surprise on that decision. Century Martial Arts Supply, Mr. Michael Dillard, and the Executive Director of the Martial Arts Industry Association, Mr. Frank Silverman. Thank you, Michael Dillard. Thank you, Frank Silverman. And once again, a round of applause for both fighters. This was a close super fight. Let's hear it for both of these young men. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of everyone from the K-1 World Grand Prix organization around the world and the Mirage Hotel here in Las Vegas, we'd like to thank everyone tonight. Once again, the K-1 tournament here in Las Vegas was a sellout. You're the best fans in the world. We thank you very much here at the Mirage. Give yourselves a round of applause.